Hello and welcome to Science in 5, WHO's Conversations in Science. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith and we are continuing our conversation about vaccines. Answering questions about vaccines today is Dr. Catherine O'Brien. Welcome, Kate. Thank you. It's nice to be with you again today. Kate, the first question I wanted to ask you was, getting vaccinated, does that prevent infection? And what if we get COVID after getting vaccinated? Can we still infect others? So this is a great question, Vismita. Um, what we know about the vaccines is that they're really effective against disease. They're really effective at protecting us from getting especially severe disease and hospitalization. The second question we have though is, do they prevent against infection? Of the early evidence that we have, it does look like these vaccines are not only protective against getting symptoms, you know, actually developing disease, but they do seem to also prevent um, getting infected in your upper respiratory tract. It looks like they might, even if you do get infected, also reduce for how long you're infected. And it also looks in very early data that when you're infected in your respiratory tract, you might have less of the virus in your respiratory tract than if you're not uh, vaccinated. And each of those things would reduce the likelihood that you would transmit that virus to someone else. So these are really interesting results that are starting to come out, but I really want to emphasize how early they are. That means that we only have one or two studies. We also don't have these results for each of the vaccines that are now out there. And as everybody knows, there are a number of vaccines that are um, being used around the world. So this is the reason why we keep emphasizing that as vaccines are rolling out, as we're in this early phase of um, the use of vaccines, people need to continue to wear masks and continue the other interventions that are keeping us safe and reducing transmission. Kate, another question that we get often is about vaccines and variants. Once we are vaccinated, does that protect us against the variants? And also, uh, does it mean that a new variant would impact us less? What about all the variants that are coming out, future variants? Do vaccines protect us from these variants? From what we do know about the vaccines that are broadly used around the world is that for most of the variants, the vaccines continue to be effective. They may not be as effective as they are against the non-variants, but they nevertheless still have substantial um, effectiveness against disease. You asked also about um, other variants that are coming up. You know, we should expect that we're gonna continue to see variants pop up and emerge. It's what viruses do. And the vaccine manufacturers are clearly going to and already adapting vaccines to try to make them as best they can be against um, a range of variants um, as we learn more about how those variants are interacting with the vaccines. The most important thing is, this is one of the really big reasons why, even if you're vaccinated, it's important to keep you wearing a mask. Um, we don't have the evidence for each of the vaccines, for each of the variants, nor for variants that will come up in the future about the degree to which the vaccines are protective against you getting infected. They may protect you against getting sick, but you could then go on and transmit to somebody else and they could get sick if they're not uh, vaccinated. Another question we are getting nowadays is, what if I've already had COVID? Do I only need one dose of the vaccine now? We still recommend that if you've had COVID disease, you should get the full course of the vaccines that are out there and available to you. So if it's a vaccine that requires two doses, you should get the two doses. We certainly have seen evidence that a single dose of vaccine, especially in people who have had COVID disease in the past, gives a really strong antibody response. And that's really good news. It shows that the vaccine is boosting the immunity um, that has developed uh, as a result of the illness that they had. But the reason that we recommend that you go ahead and get the full course of the vaccine is twofold. First of all, we don't have the evidence yet about um, whether or not a single dose following disease would be fully protective or equally protective against the variants that are now out there. And we also don't know about the duration of protection. So without evidence to really assure people that a single dose of a vaccine that would normally be given in two doses is going to give you durability of protection and is gonna give that height of protection that would really um, provide the optimum 
um, protection against variants, we're recommending still that you go ahead and get um, both doses of vaccine. Thank you, Kate. That was Science in 5 today. So don't forget to share this information and be the source of scientific evidence-based information. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.